Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomp. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Well, winning game one on the road was huge, Boog, and they can put a stranglehold on this series with a win here in this one, and that's obviously the goal. You want to go back home up 2-0 with the chance to wrap up the series in your own ballpark for sure. And if it goes the other way and the series gets to 1-1, one one, it's a total reset as we change venues for the next three games. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. And the right-hander with the good curveball, Lance McCullers Jr. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. So just about set. And stepping in for the Yankees, Andrew Benintendi. McCullers winds fires. That one missing inside. On the ground to third. Bregman handles. The throw to first. One up, one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Not in time, it's a double. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Rizzo checks his swing, appeal to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Now here come the Astros. No. Bottom of the first. Showing the slab in today's game, Nestor Cortez Jr. He goes deep in the ball game, so the bullpen, who's been a little overused lately, they might get a rest if he does what he normally does today. Back here in Houston, Jose Altuve up to hit here. The wind of the pitch. Altuve. And it's fouled away. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. A little bit low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. That one fouled off two and two. And now the lefty. That one ripped just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And that rolls into the corner. The throw in, and that's a leadoff double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. Hitter's got some good opposite field that power. What I like about something stop. being hit Jeremy. to the right side into the outfield is that the yeah. base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. 
Altuve at second with nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. In the air, right field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Runner tags at second. Not in time. He's safe. Now we check out the Astros lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. And he deals. Stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten a result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And he'll two. And that one hammered on its way. And out of here. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases. His second homer this series, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 2 0. Slider on the outside part of the plate is typically hit the other way, but to be able to get to it, pull the baseball, and get it up in the air for a home run, I'm just really impressed. That is cool. Now it's Alex Bregman. Alex. Yeah, the first offering is not close. One down, base is empty. Hard ground ball, base knock. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part that of the is, field. Is. Man, there are a lot the of hits field. there. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Gurriel. Gurriel gets a piece. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. The 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. And the next pitch is way outside. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed, but it still stings. Getting hit by a fastball. So a whole different story. Trey Mancini now. First offering misses the mark. Runners at first and second with one gone. Two on, one out. 
Strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. Two and two. And a pitch. That one the other way. Gets down base hit. And they almost caught him, but he's back in time. That's back to back singles for him. Nice job yeah. of driving that pitch the other right way on a line. You know, oh, hitters, right they take so many reps yeah. in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Next offering is foul back. Tough start for him so far already at 30 pitches here in the first. Grounder might be two. LeMayhew tossed the second. Now he launches a throw over his head. Well, you hate to make mistakes with base runners, whether it's giving up a home run or making an error like that. And it's costly. Two runs come around to score, and sometimes that defense can just tighten up a little bit, get too excited rather than just settling in and making the play. Here's Christian Vasquez. That's out to center field. Bader makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Top of the second. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Leading off the colors back to work. That one's in there. And that is strike one. He's already pitching with a 4 nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone. Don't issue free passes. And the right hater deals. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. He gets it out of the danger zone. And you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way. So you have to swing as a hitter. But then just falls off the table. and almost hits you in the back foot. Next pitch off the play. Two balls, no strikes to count. One thing about LeMayhew, he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. A one down. There's a strike. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. And it drops in. Down in the count, battling to stay alive. And just a nice job to put it in play. You'll take those boot hits off the end of the bat all day long. Off balance feed. There's one. Over to first, but he beats it. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Jose Trevino on the ground, out to short. To second, Altuve, and the inning is over. Bottom of the second, and stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. Way to go for the Astros. And the pitch. Chaz All one there. he wasn't very sharp in the first got hit around a little bit just wasn't able to locate particularly well a lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate yeah Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone it's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made sometimes it's location sometimes it's being too predictable sometimes you're tipping your pitches he's going to need to figure it out quickly though
One, two now. In the air, right field. Judge is under it. And it's caught for the out. Packed house here at Minute Maid. Up next for the Astros. Here's the former MVP, Second Jose Altuve. Okay. First time up, he led off the bottom of the first okay. with a double and then scored. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. A wind in the pitch. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, the bad news is that pitch wasn't oh, close. Yeah. The good news, they're set up to turn two and get out of the end. And first offering is fouled off. pitch this to center field Bader moving in on this one makes the grab tracks it down after the long run and yeah, there's two away here's Jordan Alvarez now Jordan Alvarez next pitch has popped up LeMayhew settles under it and puts the squeeze on that one and that will end the inning. For Houston, they lead 4 0. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Ben Intendi in the box now. No balls in a strike. You'll one. And that one pulled foul. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Judge batting for the second time, and that's strike one. 0 and 2 now. Good eye right there. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up. Over to second for one. On a Mancini. Two. And now, here's the other half of the Twin Towers. John Carlos Stanton. And first offering is fouled off. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. And now one and two. Next pitch is inside. The count now two and two. Out towards left center. McCormick going back. Back some more. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Back here in Houston. Set for the bottom of the third. And now Alex Bregman. The pitch. The third baseman. Alex. That one misses. And it's one to know. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time it's been a little more open straight up and now more closed one thing hitters will do it's not so much about the stance but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher out to short to first and they get Bregman for the out the bat the left field. here's Guriel Guriel Uriel gets a piece. And now it's even up. And that misses off the outside edge. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes 
can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Inside three and two the count. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Gathers and throws to first. And Guriel is out. Now batting. First baseman. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Trey Mancini. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And that extends the inning. Aledmis Diaz now. Number 16. Aledmis Diaz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Popped up. Counter for Leffa makes the catch, and that'll do it. So the back here at the ballpark, digging in, Anthony Rizzo. The first, baseman. first pitch doesn't Anthony. find the zone. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next offering is fouled back. And a 1-1. That one drifts inside. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one wrapped foul. 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that's the first out. Matt Carpenter stepping in now, now for the batting. Yankees. The kind of a throwback. No Matt. batting gloves. In there for strike one. And ball one. Riding to the plate. The punch out there. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now it's LeMayhew up to him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. I chopper to third. Bregman picks it up, tosses to first. That's out number three. So the Yanks go in order. They Welcome back. Bottom four at the plate is the Astros catcher, Christian Vasquez. The catch. pitch. Christian Vasquez. Fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. The batter. The center fielder. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. This to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Slapped foul. Here's the 0-2. And fouled off. Going two now. And delivers outside. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Round second, digging for third. And he's got himself a triple. So the Houston lineup turns over. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. First offering, and it just misses. McCormick stands at third with one gone in the inning. 
Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And that chance handled. Sends it to first, and they get Altuve for the out. Up next for the out. Jeremy Pena getting ready to hit. Jeremy Pena. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. In comes the run from third to add on. And the lead is up to five. The relay, safe. And they add to their lead as the run scores from third. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Nestor Cortez Jr. Won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So they turn to Lou Trevino. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Your Don Alvarez stands in but two away as he takes a ball. Steps off, looks to third. Nothing happening. Left-hand batter waits. That one is absolutely belted. On uh, the warning track, and hauls it in. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Now it's the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. There's a strike. The Isaiah kiner -Falefa. In the air, foul off first. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now and now Bader up to the plate. Goal for one. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. And now Jose Trevino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. At the belt and fires. That's hard hit in the line. He's got it, and there's two away. Ben Intendi to the plate. The left viewer, Andrew. Ben Intendi. Kyle Tucker now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. When you look at Ben Intendi, think about this. He played in the same conference as ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Back here in Houston, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman, Alex Bregman. And here it comes. Ground ball to the right side. He steps on the bag, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The left fielder, number 10. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. All over that one right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride below, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And here is Trey Mancini. That one out to right. And there's two down. The right Here's field. Kyle Number Tucker. 30. Came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Ground ball right side. Rizzo steps on the bag. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. All right. We go to the top half of inning number six. Aaron Judge at the plate. 
pitch is in for a strike. Strike one. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Knocks it down. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's no the defense battle. work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Stan batting with one down takes a strike. Several 0 2 counts in this one. This guy out there has just been attacking the hitters. Really good job so far. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Takes it himself, and that is that. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the six. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Leading up for the Astros, the catcher, Christian. Trevino, back to work. Jack Swing went around, and that's strike one. Now wanted one. Activity in the bullpen. Jonathan Loisica preparing to come on if needed. That misses the zone. Two and one. Next pitch has popped up. And Vasquez is gone. And there's one down. Now batting. Center field. Chaz McCormick Chaz. up next for the Astros. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And now the count is even. And now it's filled up. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball Rizzo picks it up. And he handles it himself for the out. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly now what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice okay. ground out. Jose Altuve now at the plate. First pitch not close. Altuve tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. Ripped on a line to center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Astro Top of inning number seven, down the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Leading off for the game. That's in for a strike. Matt Carpenter. And there's a foul ball. Bounce to the left side. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. 
Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You've got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll them up for two. This one in the air right field. That's a base hit. The throw into second. They get the force for out number one. Now well, that's one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like you just got a bad read. Hit hard, base hit. Pena, relay to third, in there safely. Nice double right there. Loud now contact that, coming off the, the bat. Second. Didn't get enough air Very under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Bader stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Base hit, one run in already. The relay to the plate, not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. Back-to-back -back base hits, solid swing from start to end. On time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now time is called as there's a visit to the mound. Just talking things over, nobody getting loose out in the pen, so a little consultation. And yeah, the batter now, Jose Trevino. Bader leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. On the ground, two ball. To second, there's one. Throw to first, safe. The Yankees looking to rally. Now back. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-1. Right-hander kicks deals. That one in there across the letters. And the pitch. And takes low for ball one. Benintendi, the former first-round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here in Houston, bottom of the seventh, and the batter will be the Lead shortstop, off. Jeremy Pena. Not shortstop, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. In the air, left field, Benintendi is there. Balls it in, and there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swings through that one. 0-1. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And the righty deals. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. We've all seen the, the defensive bat. shift make a the big difference in defending Allen. against pull hitters, but Rick it's man. not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Here's Alex Bregman. Check swing. Now to look down to first. And he went around according to Daryl Parker. Now he breaks his back. Over to Connor Falefa. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Eighth inning. New pitcher on now. Christian Javier. Trying to protect this lead. Here comes Aaron Judge. Good contact guy. Good defender. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. Kicks and fires. 
Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Aaron Judge with a rocket. And they cut into the lead. It's 5-3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Now that designated hit. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the grab, one down. Up next to the game. And here is the Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. And a foul ball. The one one. That one fouled off. And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one two. On the ground at first, and that's just foul. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time, gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Out number two. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, up finding up all the holes in his swing the and his approach, just frustrating Matt. for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. Matt Carpenter leaves the yard. His second home run of the series. It's 5-4. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. So a new pitcher out of the bullpen for the Astros, Brian Abreu. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. LeMayhew in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Abreu. Next pitch is outside. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. Yeah, so man. impressed with the his ball ability ball. to let the ball the travel, game. go back up the middle and the other way. You're Sometimes when you lead. step in the box during the game, you get a little first, anxious and you get away from that. But no, so no, far, no, I've no. seen him stay consistent no, with no, his pregame no. preparation. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The next offering misses at a count two and one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Cabrera off the first with two away. Tap back up the middle. Toss to Mancini. That ends the frame. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Oswaldo Cabrera comes on defensively now as he takes over as the new second baseman. Jonathan Loisica will take over here. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Here's the left fielder, Yuli Gurriel.
and a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Right-handed reliever. Ripped on a line. Bader makes the play. And there's one away. Now better. The first baseman. Trey, Trey Mancini up Mancini. next for the Astros. First offering misses the mark. Movement in the Yankees pen. Scott Efros up and throwing. And now two and nothing. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 3 0. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And the right hitter deals, and a four pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. And foul ball. One run game, one out, one on. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering way off the plate. The pitch stays alive. On the ground a second might be two over to Connor Falefa double play and that'll do it for the inning game two so here comes Ryan Presley to the mound and he'll work on holding this lead number 55 now here is Harrison Bader Warren Burner into the outfield for a knock Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Got him on the off-balance throw. And that is a big first out. Up next to the Back to the top of the lineup, Andrew Benintendi. Stepping in now for the Yankees. Yeah, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release play. Tucker pulls that one down. Runner tagging for third. Now that right fielder. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. In there in its own run. Righty to the plate. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Late on that fastball. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys. And a swing and a miss. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.
So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us.